What's up guys and welcome back to another episode. So as you guys could probably see in the title, we have a very special unboxing today. We are actually going to be discussing the Supreme Burberry hoodies as well as the Supreme Burberry denim jacket. So I was actually really lucky to get this jacket. I happened to find it locally. This guy was asking $12.60 for this jacket in the size large. I actually lowballed him and said, hey man, what do you think about $10.50? And he actually said yes. So we drove out to him, we managed to pick it up. I'm here to share that with you guys now we also did go ahead and pick up the two Burberry hoodies which we did get this for retail the pink one and I paid resell for the black one here but guys just take a look at these real quick now we'll try on the black hoodie right here, here in a few minutes. The pink one is a small, so it's definitely not gonna fit me. We did get a size large in the hoodie though, which is a perfect fit. We'll do that towards the end of the video because I know most of you guys are here to see the trucker denim jacket, which I'm gonna show you guys first. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. Piling paper, got them talking nice to me. Down the bottle, it be going right through me. Brown baby down to take a flight to me They think that I'm stunting but it's slight to me Piling paper got them talking nice to me Guess that's why the labels want the rights to me City on my back and it feel light to me They think that I'm stunting but it's slight to me I don't understand it how they got so timmy Okay hey guys, we're gonna go ahead and throw this on. I'm hoping that this kind of gives a representation of what I look like here. I am 5'9", about 210. It must be retrograde. 80s Cuban collar with the retro fade. Personally guys, I feel like this is a great fit. It is definitely going to be a little bit of a more fitted jacket. I could button these up, but when I button these up, it does cause the, the jacket to have more of a cropped appearance where when I leave it unbuttoned, it kind of allows the jacket to sit about half an inch to a full inch lower on your waist. Now these for me do sit below my pockets. I know some of the comments I had on Twitter was that this was too small on me, but personally guys, I think in person it looks a lot better than it did in that photo. If you guys look at the sleeve length here, on my hands it sits in about the middle section of my hand here and then when reaching out just part of my watch is, is visible here so I do feel like a size large for me was a good fit I could have got the extra large but guys when I look at the prices on that right now it's almost $1,400 ship which I paid $1,050 which means that I would have to resell this potentially pay another $350 to get the XL and I just don't think that that's worth it guys and I think that this really has a good nice fitted look which for me is kind of more my style anyway so what do you guys think about the Burberry Supreme jacket we'll go ahead and do a few other views real quick just to see what you guys think tell you guys it's a little bit of a more rough feeling when I say rough I guess what I'm saying is it's just not lined with anything I think that the quality is absolutely insane in fact I think Supreme could have charged six or seven hundred dollar retail for this and it still would have sold out but guys I really really think I'm gonna end up keeping this which is crazy for me but that being said there is a couple of other features that I have not mentioned on this jacket which on the inside you do have inside pockets here probably fit like an iPad mini it's kind of that big <laughs> <laughs> and we do have another one here on this side. These buttons are really just a pain. This seriously takes me like two or three minutes to button this thing up, which is kind of annoying. Now, as you guys can see, whenever you do have this buttoned up, it does have a slightly even more cropped appearance, and that's because the buttons are pulling the jacket together, which is kind of raising the bottom of the jacket up about half inch. I don't know that I would ever wear this like this. However, if you're looking to layer uh, maybe a hoodie or something like that underneath of it, and in that event, you probably want to go up to the next size. And overall, do I think this jacket is worth it? And in my opinion, it's an absolute yes. The embroidery on this is absolutely 
absolutely insane. In fact, this has to be some of the best embroidery I've ever seen on any Supreme piece. This is absolutely phenomenal. It can't get better. <laughs> I do feel like the Burberry design is a timeless design which will last forever. I do want to go ahead and show you guys what the box logo hoodie looks like as well on body. So let's go and throw that on next. So what do you guys think about the Supreme Burberry box logo? I don't know how to start this out, but I will start out like this. As far as the blank goes, the hoodie itself, this is the same Supreme blank that we've seen for ages. They use the same blank in all their box logos. How I think this hoodie could have been much better is if they actually embroidered this box logo here instead of doing a screen print. Had we seen an embroidered logo, this hoodie, in my opinion, would have went easily for $1,000. But that's not what we got. We did get a screen print and and I would say quality is that of a screen print. <laughs> really just don't feel like uh, the price I paid justifies what I got. Now I will tell you guys, I did buy this a little bit early. I really thought I was buying at the right time, but as prices seemed to decline afterwards, I realized I should have waited a little bit longer. I did buy this at 525, so after fees, I was in at about 550. And a few days later, I saw these selling for about 417 at the lowest. So I should have waited a little bit longer. Now I will say that I did get a size large. As you guys can see, this is a very fitted, nice look on me. I don't mind XLs and Supreme hoodies. I just prefer a less baggier look. And even then, this is still a little bit baggy on me. However, I cannot fit a medium. I already tried that. It didn't work. <laughs> you know what's funny though, is I don't even wear hoodies that much and I have a whole entire hoodie collection. Maybe I should just take a moment to show you guys what I do have in the collection. Let's go. I should start off by saying that I only wear like hoodies seven or eight times a year. I guess I don't know why I have so many, but let me show you a few of my favorites. First, we got the classic, the Astro World Wish You Were Here hoodie. I actually got this for like $140 on StockX a long time ago. Another low ball bed that just happened to get accepted. And then we have the Travis Scott Utility hoodie here, which I don't think I've ever publicly worn this. Really nice hoodie though, I just have never worn it. Okay, we got the Balenciaga here, which we've never worn. We've had this like three years and it just sits in here. This has got to be my all-time favorite. We do have the bandana box logo and the baby blue, which I did get this on StockX. We paid like $750 for this thing. I do wear it. I do enjoy it. I just didn't wear it this season. And again, it's a closet queen. Kith Williams 3, I think that's how you say it. It is a Kith box logo here, but perfect salmon color. We do have another bandana box logo in the black colorway. Personally, I think the bandana box logo was one of the best of all time. And of course it was embroidered which the Burberry should have been. Okay, this one's pretty cool. I got this like a couple months ago. This is the Kith Seraph hoodie with the little Santa Claus jumping down a chimney, which I wanted a Christmas style hoodie. I got this for like $130 a week after it came out. So we got it down to retail, but pretty cool piece. I just can't wear it unless it's Christmas time. One of my favorites here is the Air Jordan Cactus Jack hoodie, which this thing gets worn all the time, especially in springtime. This is probably like the, the four out of the five wears of hoodies that I have all year. It's this one. And of course, we have some of the fake box logos here, which I did that comparison video over a year ago. So that was uh, <laughs> that was interesting. But guys, that pretty much wraps up this video. I do want to pick up the Burberry decks. I know the decks are going for about $200 to $205 for each one, or you can get the pair for $460. But what I'm wanting to do is put these decks right up here against this wall. Anyways, guys, that wraps up this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you did like the video. This really helps me out, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.